I'm joined in studio now by football journalist Subu Mjigaliso. Subu, thanks for coming in tonight. Nice to have you here. Tunisia up and running in a big way now. Four points, top of Group B. How dangerous do you think they are in terms of being contenders for this title? Look, I'll tell you what, uh, Zambia should have won that game. It seems like their players, most of which are based in the PSL, South Africa's PSL, they've kind of picked up the bad habits of Bafana Bafana, the ones where you, they have plenty of chances to kill off Tunisia, and they just didn't do it. And like Bafana, they got punished for it. I reckon Tunisia have given themselves the, the greatest chance. We saw how tight that group is. I mean, uh, both games were drawn from the first round, and they're the first ones to grab a win and Group B. So I think they've given themselves a great opportunity by, by snatching a, a, a last-minute winner. I mean, there was about less than a minute of regulation time left. It's not going to be easy for Zambia. They play Cape Verde next, and we saw how tough the Blue Sharks are. You know, I remember two years ago, everybody thought, ah, who are these guys? And Bafana Bafana got a big, uh, a rather rude awakening in the opening game, and they've proven that they are for real. Yeah, we had them in our group, and they gave us a tough run. We're not the best starters of... Uh, tournaments, major tournaments, and uh, we faced uh, a very, very polished Cape Verde side. They're very well coached, and, and they're a very tight unit. Um, a lot of unknowns, uh, but they kick the ball around, they stick to their game plan, they'll starve you of possession, and they de defend like Martians. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very tough ask. You don't want to play Cape Verde needing a win. It's one of those, one of those teams where, I mean, the, we'll get to the third round, and they'll probably fancy their chances of going through as well. And in that scenario, often you will come second best. And uh, they're not number seven in Africa for nothing. They're up against the Democratic Republic of Congo in about uh, 15 or so minutes. How do you see that one going? I reckon that's going to be a very good game, a very open game. The DRC are a very attacking team. They've got uh, one young kid that I like watching uh, who plays for Crystal Palace, Yannick Balassi. He got a goal in, in, in the previous game. I, I reckon DRC are a very good team. They got in rather in fortuitous uh, circumstances. They were the best, best third place finishers, and they just snuck into the competition. But now that they're there, they'll think, look, let's go as far as we can get. Um, let's go guns blazing. And who knows, we might make something of this tournament like Burkina Faso did. They got all the way to the final, and they had just snuck into the 2013 mm -hmm. tournament. So I see that match being very tight, very entertaining. Yet to keep with the theme of this Africa Cup of Nations, I reckon a high-scoring draw or someone to steal it late on. Uh, maybe another Polassi special. All right, so I'm going to hold you to that. Oh, we'll, we'll come back to that uh, again uh, the next time we have you here. So far, I, I know it's still relatively early in the competition, but so far, out of the 16 sides, who's impressed you the most? Well, um, if you had asked me this question last night, I would have said Gabon, but uh, they went down, <laughs> didn't they? Yes. <laughs> um, I'll, I have to say uh, a couple of teams, Mali for mm -hmm. one, um, they're always outsiders. Guinea, mm -hmm. I like Guinea. Um, underdog side, uh, the fighters in Group D in a very tough group with Cameroon and, and Ivory Coast. Um, in our group, uh, where Bafana is in Group C, Senegal has been very, very good. Um, to beat Ghana the way they did, to polish them, I mean, they had 20 shots on goal to Ghana, seven, makes them a very, very strong team. But they're very top heavy. They've got like a list of, of strikers that's enviable but mm. at the back they look pretty shaky so i'd say probably senegal mali and guinea i'll, I'll, I'll put them in that bracket and uh, from the hosts started well uh, they kind of fell off a bit last night um, but I, I reckon the strongest teams in in the competition are centered towards group c and d all right, Spoo, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thanks yeah, for coming awesome. in. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Much appreciated. Only a pleasure.